That could be a good time. At first, I read that wrong. Something about the text. I thought we had a chance to win an exclusive piano. <laughs> that would be interesting. Hmm. Not a regular piano, an exclusive one. Well, we have 8,200 credits. We're getting there. Yep, yep. We're close to a buy in. That might be kind of cool to check out the casino. So much of this game is, is this right here. Hmm? What, what, is K, what does chaos mean? It says chaos 0 0.2 on the sheet. I don't know. Perhaps uh, Sonic the Hedgehog reference. <laughs> I got that. Welcome back. I am a friendly pest, and today we're playing Pulsar Lost Colony. Playing on an Oculus Quest 2, streaming the game from my PC over Airlink, and I am joined by Spike, wherever you went. Where did you go? There, there's Spike. You can't wave because we're not very well animated, but say hello, Spike. Hello. Ah, keep wanting to wave. Yeah, you can't wave. You really can't interact. Your head doesn't move, uh, but that's okay. This is, I mean, obviously the game wasn't created for VR, and they've kind of... Anyway, check out Spike's channel right here. Fantastic content. Uh, always upping himself on his intros. And this is your first time playing this game, and I myself am a yes. noob of only two failed flights. But basically, man, it's loud in here too. Why do we have combat music? This is a kind of starship simulator with different people that handle different tasks. We have a bot currently as a pilot. Uh, I need to add a bot for a science officer real quick, which is pretty easy. I just hit this button. Add a Cybot, and we'll add a Weapons Bot. So as they jump Dinosaurs. in... Dinosaurs! Yeah, you can't pick them up or do anything with them either. Um, nah. So here's our Weapons Bot. Where's the Science Officer? He might be... I anyway, let's let's go show you Engineering, since uh, I think you'll be able science. to handle most... Yeah, there's the Science Officer. And I don't understand much of its station, but it can shoot probes, it handles like cyber attack counter software, it does cyber attack, stuff like that. Uh, we can find and install different programs that boost the shields, weapons, stuff like that, and the science officer activates those. Um, there's some basic information on our ship. Shield, hull, uh, reactor status, etc. and so on. The actual uh, bridge engineering station is right here, which has some of your responsibilities, power boosts, that sort of thing. And then the real works is back this way. Here's the teleporter pad, which we actually are in range of something we can teleport to. If it's an enemy ship, often you have to shoot through shields or something before you can do that, which I'm not real good at yet. Um, here's the actual science lab. And you can find things and study them in here, and, and somehow that also advances our progress. There's a lot of layers to this. Hey, you found a fire extinguisher. There's That's a lot of layers. Oh, thanks. There's a lot of layers to this game that I haven't figured out yet. Uh, and probably won't, to be honest, but... Okay. Here's Gonna do the it. weapon. I feel like I am having some issues here. Okay. Main turret, laser turret, plasma turret. You can fire these weapon stations here. Um, so if we get into combat, one of us can actually come down in here and help the weapons bot. But they seem like they get okay. They get by okay, as far as I can tell. So much of this game is, is so foreign to me. And then down here is crew life support and engineering. So... Life support stations. Like, I really like... The, oh, by the way, these suits in life support, um, if we go somewhere that doesn't have oxygen, since we're human characters, we'll need to put those suits on. Uh, there's the life support console itself. Yeah, see over there in the corner? These suits here. Um, and when you put them on, you move very slowly, but that'll allow us to go to places that don't have oxygen, since we're humans. Over here is the lounge area. Oh, this locker, by the way. Sometimes we get stuff that we need to take somewhere and deliver it, so, so et cetera, and so on. You can put it in the lockers if you want to, as well as other things. Uh, the lounge itself is pretty cool. I can't read that note. I have to run this game on the lower settings. For some reason, it's surprisingly difficult to run. Like, uh, right now I'm getting 40 frames per second at best, which, as you know, in VR is not exactly comfortable. 
He says you can play Liar's Dice. I don't know how to play Liar's what? Dice. Uh, I have an idea, but I'm not sure where you have to go for that. I'll and be in the bathroom for a second. Okay. I'm going to go on back to engineering. Here is our warp core. Coolant reserves. Ah. So if we start to overheat, the engineer can increase coolant flow so that we can ramp up our reactor and try to get through a sticky situation, which, again, I don't know a ton about. So you got to, like, load fuel for the jump. There's some kind of distress signal thingy here. These are the actual energy sliders. Uh, Military-grade fusion reactor. There you go. Main thrusters, rotational thrusters, maneuvering thrusters, warp drive, uh, installed component upgrader. There's so much to this game, and near as I can tell, it doesn't teach you how to play it at all. It's one of those things that you got to kind of work for. And like here, you could actually shut the reactor off if you wanted to. Not exactly to our it's benefit. My, it's my understanding their website has a ton of information as well. It would have to. It would have to. I, was, I mean, yeah. building in like a. Uh, a tutorial would be so extensive. Um, but if you want to, we'll set off on our destination. Okay. Core so safety I'll... toggle. Yeah. To the Batmobile. Okay. Now, I have already used the star map to plot our destination. We have a mission that needs us to go all the way up there to 611 at Muava 7. Get some stuff and bring it back. That is so many jumps away. I, I think it would probably take us real world an hour or so to get there. So hopefully something actually happens on the way that we can find interesting. Actually, it doesn't look like the course is plotted anymore. So I need to do that real quick. There we go. Course plotted. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Looks like around twelve jumps to get there, which is just madness. Um, as soon as I tell the crew uh, to go back to attention, because right now they're at ease, the pilot will begin to rotate the ship. There he goes. He will point us at our destination, and then you, sir, get to engage the warp drive. So I'm hitting jump to 545. Five. Correct. And away we go. We're going to be there in three minutes. Hey, Five we seconds. just had something come up on the comm. Clear out an infestation of creatures from an old colonial Union way station. That sounds fun. Let's accept the orders. We have 19 fuel capsules for jumps left. So we can't even get there and come back, it sounds like. We just accepted a mission to clear out an infestation. <laughs> um, so when I look at that, we need to go to SE-1547 to eliminate these uncontained creatures. That might be fun. So let's see, where is... I need to replot our course. What was, what was the destination I just said? I'm SE, sorry, I was trying to figure SE out SE-1547, I think I said. Let's rewind the tape. Yeah, rewind the tape. Okay. It's our, it's our role. I'm old school that way. I think it was SE 1547. So we're going to be there in, uh, you know, three jumps. So There's nothing science quick over about here this doing game. it. They're hmm? sucking up so much power. Science is just sucking up a ton of power. What are they doing over here? I don't see what they're doing. That they're sucking up so much power. Almost half the ships, at least a third of the ship's power is being used just by science. <laughs> it uh, looks like they can modulate shield frequency. So 16% physical defense, uh, plus 40% signature, whatever that means. There's some kind of static and modulate mode. Must be for the shield. Uh, EM detection signatures. We've got search and programs. Um, so just so you know, on your on your... On mm -hmm. your grip menu? Sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt you. There's a skip warp. Does that mean we can just jump ahead to the action? I could try. It says uh, reset VR orientation, Ooh, toggle wow, flashlight, and, and whoa. Appar oh, Apparently. That is officially very nice. Why do we have combat music? Because there's a giant red meteor offer or asteroid offer. That's Starboard? I never knew Starboard in port, so I think that's Starboard. Wait, did it warp us completely? Like, did it skip all three jumps? 
Uh, the system is locked. I don't know. It says initiate jump prep. I'm going to start initiating jump prep. I don't see any more... You know what? It might have. No, it didn't. It just... Just the first one? Yeah. So, if you want to start prepping the jump, I have just laid in the course to continue our mission. Charging warp drive. I wonder why the pilot's not rotating us. Maybe we are. Maybe this is our heading. Righteous indeed. Righteous <laughs> indeed. So, how, how far are out we at destination? About two and a half minutes. Two minutes. So we're going to skip again. Look, I got one job on this ship. <laughs> yeah. So, looks like, in theory, we're going to get pointed. You want to recharge the warp drive. In theory, we're going to get pointed towards uh, like 1547 or whatever. Recharging now. I'm getting some weird like graphical flickering and stuff too. See, the thing about these kinds of games is I love the idea of them, but it, I don't think I've ever played one that was like really well executed or polished. You know what I mean? I love the idea. And then there's there's a certain like low energy expectation you're going to have to deal with. What is the pilot doing? He's drunk again. There it is. 1547. We're supposed to go there and eliminate some creatures. Oh, I should have waited for your order. Sorry. It's all uh, right. I'll let it slide. One minute. Time. Oh, huge lag spike. <laughs> oh, what was that? We're only, we're only a minute out. We're going to let it go. Um, all right. Because when we arrive, I don't really know what to expect. It's like... Well, we have guns, so... Yes. It's like uh, Sea of Thieves, right? Um... You just your normal energy level while you're playing a game like this is going to be low. You're going to spend a lot of time looking out the window. You know what I mean? Yep. Talking and thinking. And Sea of Thieves is kind of the same thing. You spend a lot of time just adjusting the sails and moving along. And I think that energy level is probably a little low, uh, unless you're you're of a state of mind or the kind of person to enjoy it. It's not like a battle royale game, for example, when you spend time looting and stuff, you got that low energy, and then when stuff happens, you've got that high energy moment that makes it kind of fun. The contrast is enjoyable. In this kind of game, I think the base energy is a pinch low. I don't know how you would fix that without adding obnoxious mini games. And then also, games like this tend to not have a ton of polish. But I love the concept. Five seconds. My speech Driving. fit perfectly. Yeah, uh, in our time allotted to travel. It, it, it warmed me my heart. It touched me. Okay. Somewhere here. Where's he going a, now? He's ro uh, he's, is he rotating? He's, he, he does that. Let's see. When yeah, I look at the sorry. mission, the mission says eliminate uncontained creatures. Four left. There's some kind of old colonial union way station here. So when we look out the window, there's a rock nearby. Let's, uh, let's go to the transporter pad and see if there's a way station, but don't immediately transport because we don't know if it has oxygen. <laughs> but, but it says low nuclear device. I don't know if we have one of those. No? Oh, we should get one. It sounds like fun. Yeah, we might need that. So look over here. All right. okay. So let's, let's figure out how to determine if there's oxygen there first. Let's put on our hazard suits, whip out our pistols, and go over there. So first go to life support. Which one's the A Cut. button? That is the front button on the right hand. What is that? That's where I'm supposed to be standing. Okay. Uh, find my phase uh, pistol. Oh, yeah, look at this suit. Nice. Mm-hmm. And head to the transporter pad. Oh, you move slower too. Yes, you do. All right, I gotta like hit select. So the station's right here. You hit the select button. I'm gonna head over. Ready? We're we going armed. Well, I think I have to be unarmed to hit the button. I got your back, sir. I, it's probably not gonna transport you. Do I have to transport myself? Yes. 
Weird. We're doing stuff, bro. We're here. Hey, the pilot and weapons bot came with us. And based on the and fact they're not wearing suits, I'm pretty sure we didn't need to wear suits. Oh, uh, well, Pybot, I think, has to wear one because he's, you know, one of those weird aliens. Okay. And I don't like the way he, I don't like the way he's me mugging you. Yeah, well, I don't like, yeah, let's, let me alone. Let's go. Let's go. There's supposed to be four <laughs> monsters on this ship. Now we're playing the game. I mean, you don't need the suit, but you look badass with it, so. It sure. is kind of badass. Watch your step there. I'm like cutting left or right. I mean, I don't know anything about these guns. How much ammo's in them or anything? Hey, a bathroom. Oh, what? that's exciting. Are we uh, supposed to go level? down? Whoa! Whoa! Um, I jumped down, didn't mean to, and I'm on another level. You're right here beside me on my screen. Oh, I'm I'm one level down from you. Okay. I can see you. Nope, oh, you just went past me. I went. I used jetpack to go all the way to the floor. What's hit me? Oh God, monster! How do I see right. my HP? Coming down. All right, I'm with so you. So this there's an elevator here, obviously. But let's clear this floor. There must be like a right. monster on each floor. Come on, weapons bot. We lose the bots? They can respawn. Whoa. Oh, the side bot's healing me. Is that what she's doing? Yeah. I think so. I thought, you, I thought it was a mutiny. No. So on my left, if I look at my left wrist, I can see the health of, of myself and the party. So, cool. There's research logs you can pick up. I'll pick those up. Maybe I can sell them. Yeah, I got a couple things over here. Oh, credits. Nice. Okay. It's not like. Well, I guess we're gonna have to go up a floor. Are you ready? Yeah. That's... You know, because of my weird height thing, I keep having to stoop between buildings or uh, floors. I mean. Oh, be on guard. Here we go. There it is. Basically a giant rat. Pretty. Another one. Good job. Oh, I see. You have unlimited ammo, but you do heat up. Okay. Anything worth looting in here? Look at this thing. What's it called? Fire killer grenade launcher. Pick that up. Oh, and sold. Um, it didn't go into my equipment. So it went to my inventory. And I can equip it in this empty slot. Yeah. Fire killer grenade launcher. It sounds like we got a rat in there? Yeah. Oh. That was that. I think it's a fire suppression tool. It's beeping, it's beeping. Run away! I don't know what that means. Oh, it does there blow it goes. Up. <laughs> yeah, but it didn't kill him. But that's pretty smoke, yeah. Objective complete. Objective complete. There's an right. item of some kind. Emergency rations. Got some credits over here. I think so. I unlocked a casual hat. <laughs> okay. A casual hat. That's what it says. So I don't think I need my uh, face pistol anymore. The, uh, oh, there's all kinds of stuff over here. Check in here. Like it's a super cool concept of a game, but not necessarily like the most well executed thing I've ever seen. You know? For sure. Let's go. Let's go to the third floor and have a look. Yeah. Let's. We're supposed to steal all their shit. You know, kind of the point of video games is that you don't necessarily need to use your imagination to play in your imagination, except for games like this. You know what I mean? Like, you still got to use your you still got to use your imagination quite a bit on a game like this. Uh, are we just back at the same level we started at? Yes. So we haven't been on the fourth floor. Let's get back on that and go up. Go up one. All right. Stand right by. 
Let's go. Might as well loot anything you find. You can, oh, look at this. Here's something of interest. This is a nano-active hull. I think this is one of those modules I was telling you about that the science officer can activate. So I'll pick it up and uh, take it back to the ship, see if we can figure out how to install it. Oh, we really are stealing all their stuff. Well, I mean, they abandoned it's just a... it. It's pretty fair. What's this? Fuel. Okay, I picked up a couple fuel canisters as well. I'm going to go to the third floor and uh, beam back to the ship. I do think it's a cool game, though. Like, I know I'm kind of picking on it a little bit because the there's a, an obvious lack of polish, you know what I mean? And a lot of really cool yes. ideas that are kind of minimally executed, which is, is not a complaint. It's it's an acknowledgement of recognition. This is nice. A little blood splatter in the wall here. Mm-hmm. So back to the brown cloak, which, by the way, is an old inside joke. Uh, uh, it's it's something is registering in the back of my mind about what what the joke is, but I'm not I'm not hitting it. So we are one jump from 1571, where this enemy ship will be, in theory, either an enemy ship or a station. So. If you want to prepare the jump drive, this next destination should be interesting. And by interesting, drive, I charging. mean we'll watch the weapons bot fire the weapon, we'll watch the science bot handle counter software, and uh, I'll watch you play with power levels and stuff while I stand here importantly. So I just increased Science Lab's power and everything's charging really fast. Jump calculations were quick as hell, sir. Oh, that's cool. Look at the, uh, the right, reactor no temperature going up. Yes, that's okay. I, I got it. Engage. <laughs> I got cool it. Yes, sir. Bam. Wish I could increase the Greetings jump to the speed. crew of the USS Brown Cloak. You've been formally invited to the High Rollers Casino. Hell yeah. If you're willing to try your hand against serious competition, come by the casino to compete with best liars dice players in the galaxy for a chance to win an exclusive prize one time entry fee of 10,000 credits is required mm. we don't have that much money wow. yet but we will I always laugh at all my captain's jokes <laughs> that's, how I made it where I, that's why you're my favorite I made it where I, that's it. <laughs> uh, that and you're Wise the only man one that said, talks I, back I, I prefer the uh, one knee approach you know because it puts the booty Making gestures as if you can see them and you cannot. All yeah, right, I can't. I can't now. see anything. I can't see anything. <laughs> and I don't know what you're talking about, but it's probably for the best. It's probably a captain should remain in the dark to an extent. Uh, Stoic. Indeed, Marcus Aurelius, student 13. thereof. Ten seconds. <gasps> hey, you can fly and stuff. Okay, Sorry, let's see. There will either be an enemy ship seconds. or a station to raid. Preparing to raise shields or energize shields. So there's uh, a planet. Barren surface. Unregistered base detected. That's what we want. Once again, I don't know how to determine if it has oxygen. I'm here. Well, I'm not dying. There appears to be oxygen. Let's do this. Oh, man. We are high up. Wow, my pistol's acting dumb. He's down. Good job. Yeah, I'm shooting way above. Like, way well, up. Mine was spraying all over the place. What are these? Ammo clips. Okay. Two more robots, lower platform. Out of the way, bots. Why are the bots not fighting? He had their pistol off for a second. I mean, I, I guess I should, like, I should red alert him. There we go. 
Hey, there's one of these module things over here. Yeah, there's one over here as well. Oh, there's two of them. There's one back this here. Is this is a shield. QDI Fix Life. Whatever that means. Look, yeah, there's a bigger bot down there. Easy. Easy. Holy oh, crap. Ah. Careful, careful. There's two of them. Thanks for all the help, weapons bot. Managed to overheat my pistol. Hey, hey, wait. One just jumped off the platform. Could be okay, probably. There's another there. robot down there. I, don't, I have nothing. That's uh, some real interesting lag. I have nothing on my screen. A -I. On my screen. On my screen. Okay. <laughs> on my screen, that robot walked off the cliff. Thrust. Dark drive. That is some kind of contraband uh, drive system. That I don't know what kind of consequences there would be to install, but it's cool that it exists. Okay, so switching back to my hands, and I'm heading back to the ship, I guess. See? We came, we negotiated, we made the, play, the world a better place. Be on your way, Whoa. USS Brown Cloak. We have this sector defended. Let's try to extort them. You want credits or fuel? Uh, I kind of like fuel because we're down to 15. Let's see what they say. Okay. Colonial Union officers should never stoop so low. Consider yourself reported to the command. That's bullshit. Whatever. We do what we want. How could they, how could they report us? Where are they? Let's mess them up. <laughs> Is that the USS Depend Depender? Depender? Apparently. No, oh, they're just as tough as we are. How do you know that? Uh, I got their stats oh, back here on the wall. Yeah, is a match to your ship type. Combat level 30. Uh, can detect you. Registers Colonial Union. So hmm. they're friendlies. We just extorted friendlies? We tried, but they, you know, didn't participate. <sighs> How do we attack them? Oh my god. What do you mean? Where are the good know, guys? Me... But they're on the same side. Okay, well, we'll move I'm on gonna... then. I'm gonna... That's okay, I'm gonna increase power to shields. <laughs> Whoa. What'd you do? I didn't do anything. We're under attack? We are under attack. From oh, what? God. Oh, yeah, we are being blasted. Come on, do your captain thing. Uh, shoot him harder. Like, I have no control over this. The weapons officer does the shooting. I'll go help the weapons officer. How do you turn... Where shields are down, how do you get shields online? Who does the shields? Uh, we are dying. Yeah, we just lost some primary power there. I don't know how to turn. Okay, shields are back online. Our rack here is offline. Can you fix it? Don't worry about it. It's overheating at the moment. Use the coolant thing. Hold it. It's tricky to shoot this bastard. My rate of fire is pretty low on this weapons thing. I don't know if that's a power thing or what. Uh, Did um, we die? No. We're cooling off, though. I think, uh, I think we were overheating is what was happening. Man. It's not going easy to, to high shoot levels stuff. Of... Oh, we got sparks on the bridge. Oh, there goes science station. <laughs> All right, cooling off. We should be good for a bit. 
I got the pumps on high. I provided more power due to weapons. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, we're cooling off fast. Shields are holding. Reactor's good. No more damage to our controls. Wish the pilot oh. would get us closer. It's oh. so hard to shoot. I mean, I could try taking over the station. I feel like no. <laughs> no? You, you keep doing what you're doing. We don't have an engineering bot. Two thirds. One third coolant used. We're winning. Back to normal mode. Yeah. See, the Go weapons bot. The off. weapons bot's doing better. That power change made a big difference. I think one right. more good hit will have them. I lost targeting. Good enough. I think they've put out some kind of countermeasure. Ah, so I need to get closer. Pilot, come on. We got him. How do I get out of the station? Okay. Whew. What condition is the ship in? Uh, excellent. Everything is fully repaired. Uh, hauls down 300 from 1760. Shields are restoring back to full. We can probably go off shields now. I don't know if you control that. No, I don't think I do. As we're still overheated. Not overheated, but we're, we're kind of hot. Well, I can go back to condition green and see if that makes Sorry, a difference on our way to the casino. All right. Did you already hit initiate jump? No. I was just getting the ship pointed the right way because the pilot bot was not doing his job. Hey, I got... <sighs> Charging. What? <laughs> <laughs> I had one job on this ship. I pushed a button. You did good. You, you did a lot of buttons. You did fine. Look, I'm calling... I'm calling the union. <laughs> we just blew up another union ship, so file another complaint with him. <laughs> you can jump no, whenever you're you ready. make a good point. <laughs> uh, charging warp drive. Calculating jump data. Jump into 63. Three minutes, 18 seconds. Okay. All Something shields, shields are still in. online, though. Wanted. The biscuit Who's... burners. Group of raiders. You can't turn off... I'm sorry. No, you're all right. So they work at the market section of a station. Reward 8,000 credits funded by the Fluffy Biscuit Company. I guess we'll accept it, but we're on our way to the casino. Whenever ready to you're roll. Ready. Let's go. Engaging. Two minutes. What's Christopher uh, Pike say? She... Punch it. Uh, are we supposed to, are, 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 are shields supposed are, to be still raised? Are the shields? I don't know. We're at condition green. We're at green alert. I don't know why the shields are up. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> ship. Half. Not doing that. Skip and warp. Welcome to the casino. It appears to be a rock. Bam. <laughs> All we need to do is win some fuel while we're here. <laughs> All right. So we're going to the casino. Yeah, Make sure to... you bring your phase pistol. Let's go gambling. Always. This is going to be awesome. This is going to be the highlight of the day. So you I have always... a strange definition of gambling. Uh, Technically, it's a gamble. You don't think I'll get shot with my face pistol out? Oh, I really didn't want you to have the face pistol out. I was joking. <laughs> hey, this guy has a mark above his head. Like you could... Strick. You can talk to Strick. Greetings. Strick. If you want to participate in the Liar's Dice competition, you need to pay a small fee of 10,000 credits. Do we want to? Small. I assume we want to. We didn't come here to not to. And Wonderful. The Enjoy the games. Let's do it. Welcome to the casino. That's actually pretty cool. It's not much it's like casino place. music, but 
Sir, permission to pull out my weapon and rob the place? Yes, continue. What's this? What? Oh, you were joking. Okay. I think you, yeah. <laughs> I, I think you can watch them play. Look at this. I think they're actually, yes, they're playing. They're earning There's points and playing. Sit down and play, bro. Let's see. Liar's Dice is a bluffing game about stating a number of dice with a specific face. Each player secretly rolls five dice, and then betting begins. Players place bets on how many dice of a certain face are up amongst the total pool of dice. Uh, I'm, not, I'm trying. I'm not much of a fan of this. But... I'm trying. We didn't pay 10000 to not play. Uh, it's a Got bluffing it. game about stating the number of dice with a specific face. Each player secretly rolls five dice, and then betting begins. Players place bets on how many dice of a certain face are up amongst the total pool of dice, even though they can only see five of them. On a player's turn, he or she or they can choose to raise the current bid or challenge it if they think it's false. When raising a bid, player must raise the number of dice in the bid. I don't know why I'm so dumb when I read a game's rules. There's no way. I, I don't want to say that. There's no way. Um, oh, I lost. How, how do you play? Okay. So there are arrows above the die. Once you pick the die face representing the die you think is the most common, then you on the left side you pick how much you want to bet. I challenged a bid. Now I... Yay, I earned a point. Tutanam has raised the bid to three fives. No. I'll say that there's four fours. Raised the bid to four fords. He's challenged the bid. What's that do? What does that mean? Somehow he was successful. I don't completely understand. He says two threes, huh? I'll say four fives. Looks like it's all liar's dice. How many points to win the game, huh? I think I'm winning, but I don't know how far I gotta go. No, I am the winner. I won. What does that mean? How much did I get paid for winning? Where's my funds? I wish I'd have looked at my money before I won that game. Are you winning? Uh, I'm selling stuff right now. What game do you play? It looks like they're all liar's dice. If you win, you receive a chip. The final table in the center of the room has seven player game of liar's dice. To, to join this table, you'll need three chips. If you win the final table, you will receive a special prize, a Lost Colony Data Fragment. So that's that's like our main quest, by the way. 
Find the lost colonies? Yes. Yep, we have to does. find four data fragments. So one of them's here. You have to win three of the smaller tables, and then you play the big table and win there. So Behind you, I bet cool. you this is it. Right Everybody's here? crowding me. Right here? Can you see this? Ah, I'm standing. There it is. Bet you that's it. That's it. Bet you that's the data. Look, it's even got like dice pips on it, which is kind of cool. Can I shoot it? Yeah, try to shoot it. Negative. Nobody cares. A. Nobody uh -huh. cares. <laughs> yeah, they didn't. Nobody even reacted. Nobody blinked. They're probably used to that. Nope. Okay. I think I think we've played the game. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap up the recording. This is gonna require a lot of editing, and I don't know if it's gonna be fun to watch. I think it's a it's a cool concept, but the game itself I don't know yet. You know what I mean? I wonder. I wonder when I play it, like. Part of me really wants to like it, and part of me is also kind of bored. Does that make sense? <laughs> it does. It, it, I agree 100%. The potential, you look at the carpeting, for instance, and they put a lot of thought into designing that. The room, like there's the aesthetics of the room is, it's nice, right? I appreciate that kind of work, but I just wish they would work on other elements. It needs polish. It needs polish. It's like they're, they're so ambitious, and obviously, you know, a small team right because this like this game would be am, am, would be ambitious with a hundred million dollar budget and a team of a thousand professionals you know what i mean so yes. like when you look at it that way you can really appreciate what they've achieved is pretty cool but i also don't know if i yeah. want to play it or not but uh i mean this might make it on the I monday had, video we'll see go ahead i think if i had a person or two that knew the game really well Right. And no offense, to, you know, not no offense to my captain, but, you know, someone who actually played on a regular basis who can just kind of direct. Uh, I think that'd be more interesting. <laughs> if my captain I, didn't I, suck, I, this might be fun. I got it. No, I understand. <laughs> I'll have you know, no, wait. I'll have you know, for uh, not knowing what I'm doing, we've been relatively successful today. We blew up some of a bitch. to shoot myself. Need... No. No, nope, you're not getting sir. off that easy. Nope. Nope. Hey, well, easy. The bots are getting nervous. I don't know. It's cool. It's cool. But I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up and we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll come back to this game. I don't know. Like you said. Wow, nobody's even see reacting it? to that. No, they don't care. Yeah, they don't know. I mean It's not like it's not it's not part of the scenario. It'd be cool if like security at least came through the door and everybody ran and screamed and then we got killed. Um, I don't know. It's cool. It's cool, but like, uh, I don't know. I'll probably put this up on Monday. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see if this one makes it live or not. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to like go through it and see if I think. It, we'll see, right? But uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. If I decided to upload it. Um, Hopefully you're off to a good start to your week. Anything you want to say, Spike? Check out Spike's YouTube channel right uh, here. Yeah, I got yeah. another video coming here, hopefully by uh, middle of next week, and another uh, hopefully good opening. So, what uh, is it? Another into the radius video? Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Sorry, I should should have been clear about that. No, that's cool. That's cool. Check out Spike's channel. Like, subscribe, follow him. He does good stuff. Uh, otherwise, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting this tiny channel. And have a nice day. There we go. I wave my arms around a lot, but you can't tell. Your, your hand went to your face like you were going to stroke your beard.